Hello everyone, it's the Mongoose, and today we are going on another manga haul, our second manga haul on this channel, and I'm honestly so excited. I've been waiting all month to go back to Barnes & Noble and buy some of your recommendations that you left me on our first haul, and also on the manga review video that I did as well. You left me a lot of great suggestions, and I've been looking through them, and there's a lot of great titles that I'd like to pick up immediately, so I'm hoping that Barnes & Noble has some of them in stock. I'm also looking to pick up a couple of volume twos of mangas that I'm currently reading, so I'm really hoping that they have those as well so let's go ahead and drive over to Barnes and Noble so we can get to manga shopping Okay, so we made it to the manga section and first impressions was they restocked. I hit the jackpot today. Everything was looking great. I was so excited. This Berserk, they finally had Berserk Volume 1, the deluxe edition, but I didn't pick it up because it was $50 and I didn't want to blow my whole manga budget for the month on just one manga, even though it is Berserk. I also saw that they had 21st Century Boys and I've heard great things about it, but this is the first time I've seen it in store, so I might go back and get it. They had a ton of Assassination Classroom and Attack on Titan. Bad Boys Happy Home. Now this was a new manga that I didn't see last time. Nicely sealed and it looked like a really unique yaoi that I was definitely into. I kind of forgot about it, I'm not going to lie, it's the only reason I didn't pick it up. But next time I go, if I remember, I'm probably going to grab it. They had a ton of Black Butler, a ton of Black Clover as well. A blue period a lot of you told me that this was a great manga and they had volume one it definitely looked like something i would be into as well the cover art got me boys run the riot now this is a manga that i've seen before and it really interested me. They didn't have it the last time I came here. They had volume one this time. It looks like a really unique manga, a story that I haven't seen before. I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eye out on that one. Chainsaw Man, they had volume six and seven, but still no volume one. I'm waiting for it. Now citrus caught my eye, I really like the color scheme on the spine and the cover. Drifting Classroom. Now this caught my attention because it was a ginormous, beautiful hardcover and it looks like a great horror story, but it was $35 for a hardcover. And once again, I just, I didn't want to blow so much of my manga budget this month on just one manga, but it's definitely something that I want to pick up in the future. The Devil is a Part-Timer. I think I've seen this on Crunchyroll, so I think that's why I was drawn to it. Also guys, I'm stuck with next month's manga haul and I need some help. I can't decide if I want to do a right stuff haul or if I want to go to a local bookshop that has a bunch of manga supposedly. Let me know in the comments below what you would rather see. A right stuff manga haul or would you rather see me go to a local bookshop and see what manga they have? The Gods Lie. Now this cover art absolutely attracted me. The title as well. I don't know if it was like a romance or what, but it's definitely something that caught my eye and I kind of regret not picking it up to be honest. I am a hero. Now I've heard great things about this manga and I was looking for it last time I went. Unfortunately they didn't have any but I saw one on the shelf this time. Instantly had to pick it up. I put it in my arms and kept it with me the whole time that I did the rest of this haul because I was not letting that one go. Now looking at the news section, they had a couple of mangas that interested me here for sure. One of them being number five. I looked it up and it said it was an older manga, but the cover art was absolutely beautiful. It looked like a really cool sci-fi manga. And honestly, just having this in my collection would be really nice, I think, just because of how pretty it really is. And it seemed like a really cool story as well. 
Also, the girl from the other side looked super creepy. I think I kind of forgot to go back to it because I only had one volume one left and it seemed like a really cool one, especially for spooky Halloween month. I should have picked it up. Komi can't communicate. I was so sad. I've heard great things about this manga and they didn't have volumes one or two, unfortunately. That seemed to be a running theme today. I was looking for a lot of volumes one and they just didn't have them. Now, Kuma 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 Bear <laughs> is a funny title. I think that's really what attracted me to this manga and it looks super cute as well. The only reason I didn't buy it was because it was a video game fantasy based and I've already read a couple of mangas in that realm. So I wanted to kind of expand out of there. Now, one that really caught my eye was my dress up, darling. The spine was absolutely beautiful. The cover art was super cutesy and the story seemed very interesting as well. It was nice and sealed too, so I was happy about that. Now searching through, they actually had volume one of One Piece, which I never see. And they also had Noragami. A lot of you told me to grab this and said it was really good. They had a ton of Overlord. An awesome thing that I did notice was that they actually expanded the manga section. So this Barnes & Noble for some reason has a great selection and they made it even bigger. So I was super excited. I was spending all day in there. Now they did have Sayonara Football Volume 2, but you guys know I read Volume 1 and I didn't pick it up this time just because I was so torn between so many mangas today that I, I literally could not make up my mind. Rainbow and black. This spine and cover was so pretty in my opinion. It was very simple, but just absolutely beautiful. And this manga was one that I was going back and forth on, on whether or not I should buy it. I really, really wanted it. And I think I'm going to go back and get it ASAP just because I was staring at it for like five minutes. and I just could not decide. Then a manga called Silver Spoon that looked really cool and unique. A cover that I've never seen before. Looked like none other, to be honest. Now Sweat and Soap, I really, really wanted volume one and they didn't have it. I was so sad because a couple of you recommended it to me and it sounded like right up my alley. Thigh High, the title is what made me want to look at this manga. And then I saw the cover and looked at the synopsis and it seems like a great comedy about breaking gender norms and also about gender fluidity. Unfortunately, they didn't have volume two of Zom 100 and I'm so sad about it because I'm dying to read the second volume of that. I absolutely love the first. Whisper me a love song. Now, I am actually really sad because I completely forgot that I looked at this manga and I meant to get it because you guys know I love my romance and it just slipped my mind. And now looking at this again, I'm just like, oh, I wish I got it. So I'm hoping that they have volume one next time I go back. All right, so we got our mangas. Let me show you guys what we got today. Okay, so that was so incredibly tough to choose what mangas to buy today. My Barnes & Noble expanded their manga section and on top of it restocked like like crazy so they had so many volume ones of mangas that I wanted to pick up I was just like I couldn't decide I was in there for so long just staring at each manga trying to pick one manga versus the other I, I couldn't decide but let me show you guys what we got today so as you probably saw from me walking out I leaked the first manga One Piece volumes one through three yes I finally took the plunge and am going to read One Piece now this is a task this is a huge task but I'm up for the challenge I feel like I'm finally ready to dive into the world of One Piece I've been putting it off for way too long to be quite honest and everybody tells me to read it everybody tells me to watch it but I, I just never do because it's so overwhelming with the amount of episodes and volumes but it's time it's finally time we're gonna start one piece i'm sure everybody knows what one piece is about so i'm not gonna explain it but we're gonna read it pray for me <laughs> now next up is a manga that i'm so excited that i found i heard that it's getting a lot harder to come across and that is i am a hero a lot of you guys recommended this to me as a great zombie manga even on the back if you can see, it says the greatest zombie manga ever as a review. So I like zombie stuff. I just started reading Zom 100 and it brought me back into the world of zombies. This is actually volumes one and two, I believe. Yeah, two volumes in one. So actually a pretty good deal. Only 20 bucks for two volumes. Last time I went, I looked for it and I couldn't find it. But this time they had a copy and I was not passing it up. I snagged it right away and I'm really excited to get into this manga. All right. And it is spooky month. We picked up a zombie manga and next up we have picked up. 
Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I was looking at this manga from my first haul and I passed on it, but a lot of you told me that it's actually a fantastic manga and to pick it up. It's in the realm of spookiness. It's supposed to be like a darker comedy and I like dark comedies. It sounds pretty interesting. It's about an academy with seven mysteries, one of them being Hanako on the front cover, and he lives in the third stall of a girl's bathroom in the academy and can supposedly grant any wish. So I'm interesting to see how this plays out. Apparently he meets a character that is into the occult and stuff like that. And I'm interested to see what the other six mysteries are as well. So I'm really excited to read this. You guys told me to pick it up. You said it's great. I think I'm gonna love it as well. So For the Bound Hanako-kun is our third pickup. All right, and our second to last pickup is my dress up darling now i had to stray away from the horror realm a little bit and i picked up this it's actually fully sealed as well what caught my eye is i think there's going to be a very interesting dynamic between these two characters as you can see on the front and the back now basically what the story is about is walking out on the back here as a traumatizing childhood experience which kind of makes him a loner going through life and really all he wants to do is make artisan dolls and make that his profession once he gets out of high school and on the front cover right here marin She's a very popular high school girl who happens to come across Wakana just doing his thing in Solace and she ropes him into doing cosplay with her, which sounded like a very, very unique dynamic between the two. I was really interested to see what happens between the two because they seem like polar opposites. And I love stories like that. Seems like it could blossom into a really nice romance as well. And you guys, you guys know I love my romance. So I was interested to pick up my dress up darling. I was looking at it every time I passed by and I was like, you know what? Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. It was between this and another manga. I think it was Rainbow and Black, but I'm probably going to pick that up next time because I really wanted to read that as well. But I went with my dress up, darling. I hope it doesn't fail me. It looks like a drama that can turn into a nice heartwarming romance comedy. So very interested to see what happens in the story. All right. And last but not least is probably the manga that I am most excited about. I was actually going to watch the anime, but I saw that they had volume one of this and there was only one left. I snagged it right away. And that is miroku -chan. Now this manga i saw so many visuals on the anime and it looks so so good and I, I just decided i was gonna read it first like the story sounds so interesting to me it's just about miracle right here who's just a normal girl living a normal life until all of a sudden she starts to see monsters and ghosts and spirits and she's the only one who can see them and she just has to go through life dealing with this newfound presence of ghosts that she can constantly see to me that sounds like a very unique and interesting story like i don't know what i would do if i just started seeing ghosts all of the time and they were just all around me and the, and the fact that nobody else can see them makes it a very unique experience to herself it's something that she has to deal with on her own i'm sure nobody's gonna believe her if she's like hey by the way like there's these ghosts Ghosts that are following me and I can see them there's a ghost right behind you actually so I'm sure some of you have started watching the anime and probably read the manga as well but I'm so excited to read this like it's spooky month ghost stories only one person can see them and has to deal with that all on her own I'm very very excited to get into Miroku-chan now this is the last manga of the day I actually failed my mission of picking up any volume twos of mangas that I'm currently reading so it was unfortunate but I'll get back to the mangas that I'm currently reading like I said I don't know what my Barnes and Noble did but they put a lot of emphasis into the manga section recently. I hope you guys enjoyed manga shopping with me today. I had a ton of fun, but I'm very happy with my pickups today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video will be a manga review of the spooky mangas that we will probably be reading this month. I will see you next time.